Hello everyone, it's Gleb Bakhmatov again, and again I'm working at Cypress map repo, and I'm looking at the workflow. We're using GitHub Actions, we're splitting the specs across two machines. They run in parallel, so they run fast, and then we run the release job. The only complaint I see right now is that we're actually doing too much in each test job. We trying to catch exclusive tests that have it that only because we won't prevent that. We want to run all the tests. We are linting the code, uh, building, you know, the distribution folder is fine. And then we run the tests. So in this video, I'll show how to refactor our workflow to be much, much simpler. We're going to use my Cypress reusable workflows to make the whole test, the whole workflow extremely simple. So this is my current workflow. These are my parallel jobs. We're using a matrix strategy, meaning it will create two containers and each container will execute the same steps. Once it's done, we have a release job. The release job is fine. I will not change anything. Notice it needs the test job, or in this case, a matrix of test jobs before it runs. So why don't we do the following? Why don't we factor out a lint job, right? Something that will catch uh, it that only maybe lint the code and then um, do nothing else. Okay, so we can just copy everything and we don't need the matrix of jobs. We're going to install everything but don't run the tests and we're going to run sub only and npm run and lint. So then we can remove these two steps from the test job. Okay, so the test job only builds the distribution and runs the end-to-end -end test. So now let's simplify the test jobs. Oh, wait, I forgot before we do that. Let's make sure we release only when we lint um, the code. Okay, so now back to our parallel jobs. I will use Cypress workflows. And this is a way not to reuse a single step in a workflow, but like whole series of jobs. So here's what we can do. We can look at this example. This is the whole workflow. Okay, so we're going to copy and we're going to replace this whole job, right? This whole kind of definition of individual steps with a simple use this workflow called split and let's use two machines like before. And we still need to build the distribution folder. So how can we do this? Uh, let's see. Do we have a build step? No. Uh, let's see what parameters our split workflow allows or what inputs it does before run. Um, I think before run is actually a pretty good candidate. We also have start, build. I think build is actually what we should use. So we'll say two machines, build, npm, run, build. So the same command as before. And we'll delete everything here. And all those parameters will be actually passed by the split workflow. It assumes we're using Cypress split plugin. So it will set all necessary arguments. Okay, so now we're ready to go. So I'm going to commit everything with a message. Use workflows simplify. Okay, so it committed the change files and pushed the code. Let's take a look at the workflows if there are any errors, mistakes. Okay, well, so far it's running. So no YAML errors. And notice that that reusable Cypress workflow that I use split, it actually expanded into a series of jobs. The test prepare will do its part, then it will run a matrix of jobs. And by the way, I think I have to upgrade my workflows to use GitHub Action uh, version 6 from Cypress. Uh, because we had N E to E set to 2, that means we want two end to end test containers. So this is why it created two parallel jobs. We're not going to merge anything, so all these jobs will be skipped. Uh, the lint has finished and notice our release job needs the whole workflow to finish and the lint to finish successfully. 
let's see if our test jobs are actually doing the right thing. Uh, notice it's eight spec out of 15, so it did split the spec the same way as before. Back to the summary. And I'm just gonna wait for the entire workflow to finish. Okay, the test job has finished. Now the release is running and it also should finish successfully. So this is an example of using Cypress workflows that I wrote for GitHub Actions. If you wanna learn more about using Cypress workflows and using Cypress split plugin, I have an entire course with hands-on lessons and explanations and I'm gonna link it in the description of this video.